Hello folks and welcome back to Zix Cloud. Today we're going to take a look at how to add encryption policies. There's two ways to do so and I will show you both ways. Go ahead and sign into your administrator account. We're going to pop our validation code in there as it always prompts for the two-factor. Click on your partner management. Select the customer in question. In this case, we'll just use our test account. Go ahead and guest admin into that account. Click on the email encryption. Go over to policy management. Click the add policy button. Give the policy a label, so give it a name. Select where it's gonna be from, all users, all domains. You can specify specific domains, specific users. You can exclude specific domains. You can exclude certain users. Again, with the to address, you can specify exactly whether you want all users or domains, specific domains or specific users, and again, some exclusions and, and user list exclusions. You can select email header information if you'd like. You can add additional content filters, and this is probably the most important portion, which will be used in the most often. Hit the plus button, hit the drop down, whether it's content or keyword. So if it's keyword, hit the keyword, type in the keyword, Select if you'd like that in the subject, subject and body, subject, body, and attachment, body, body, and attachment, or attachment are all available options. You can add additional filters to this as well. So hit the add. You can do content and choose additional content. You can see this is where you can call it to your lexicons. All available here. And again, how you would like them applied. You could select your connector, end or or. You could select file extensions, your triggers, if you want a megabyte control, your send options, your DLP quarantine, your delivery method. It is important to note that TLS is not checked by default. If you do wish to enable that, please select that before continuing. You could choose your routing. can choose branding options if you have branding configured and then you hit save and it will enable that policy the second way to add policies would be under account management system setup scroll down depending on what features you have enabled, this might be step nine or step 12. If you just have encryption enabled, more than likely it'll just be step nine. You can check the link here, encryption and routing policies, and this will take you to a worksheet. And this will also allow you to configure your content filters as well. You can choose your preferred keywords. You can choose other, you can specify. You can choose your region. You could choose your content filters, such as financial. It'll come up with a list and you can add additional ones as well. Your DLP quarantine. And again, always important to note, TLS is not turned on by default. So if you do wish for TLS delivery, please make sure you select the yes, then hit save it will add those policies. You can only add one feature per setup. So great example, you can add one keyword, you can add one content filter. So if you wish to add multiple content filters as well as multiple keywords, you could use the first method to be able to configure a policy with multiple options simultaneously. Thank you for joining us on this quick tour today on how to add policies to your account. Thank you. Have a great day.